Video game collecting is the hobby of collecting and preserving video games, video game consoles, and related memorabilia. Most video game consoles, and their games, are considered to be collector's items years after their discontinuation due to their functional longevity and cultural significance. Collectors usually narrow their search to games holding characteristics they enjoy, such as being published for a specific video game console, being of certain genre, or featuring a specific character. The value of a game depends on the quantity manufactured, the quality of the gameplay, its cultural impact, and the condition of the specific game being questioned. Games that are complete with their original packaging and paperwork are considered more valuable. In many cases, these components are valued more highly than the games themselves. Many times, video games cross over with other mediums, so collections often overlap with those of anime, manga, comic books, and other media. Some video games have collector's editions available for limited amount of time. It can include additional content such as a comic book or a CD of soundtracks used in the game. Rare games While all video games can be seen as collectible, some are noteworthy for being particularly rare or desirable, which in turn contributes to high values. Prices may vary depending on condition of the packaging, paperwork, whether the item is sealed, how many inserts are retained, and whether the spine card is still present. Notable rare games include Air Raid 1982, Atari 2600, NTSCU. Twelve known copies. The only copy with package known to exist sold for $31,600 in 2010. Pepsi Invaders 1983, Atari 2600, NTSCU, 125 copies produced. Red Sea Crossing 1983, Atari 2600, NTSCU, two known copies. Produced by Steve Sack, Inc. of Inspirational Video Concepts. The yard sale copy found in 2007 was sold on GameGable for $10,400 in a 2012 auction. Another copy was found in Philadelphia and was eventually auctioned off on eBay for $13,800 in 2013. Stadium Events 1987, NES, NTSCU. 2000 cartridges produced. Considered the rarest licensed NES game available for purchase in North America. The game's packaging alone has been known to sell for $10,000. One of two known sealed copies was sold for $22,800 on eBay. Tetris 1989, Sega Mega Drive, NTSCJ. Three to eight copies produced, supposedly due to copyright issues. Nintendo World Championships 1990, NES, NTSCU, 26 copies of the gold cartridge and 90 copies for the standard gray cartridge. The gray carts were the actual carts used in the Nintendo World Championships tournament while the gold carts were prizes for winning a Nintendo Power sweepstakes. Gold cartridges have sold for over $10,000. The game has been called the rarest and most valuable NES cartridge released aside from promotional cartridges. Nintendo Campus Challenge 1991, 1992, NES, NTSCU. Most copies were destroyed after competitions, except one copy which was sold to Rob Walters in 2006. The copy is believed to be the only one in existence, eventually selling for $20,100 on eBay. Nintendo PowerFest 1994, SNES, NTSCU, 33 cartridges made, only two known to still exist. Virtual Bowling, SD Gundam Dimension War 1995, Virtual Boy, NTSCJ. The two rare games make completing the Japanese Virtual Boy collection difficult. Kazuna Encounter 1996, Neo Geo, PAL. Fewer than 12 copies exist. However, the Japanese and USAES version is not as rare and is identical except for the packaging and inserts. The Ultimate Eleven 1996, Neo Geo, 10 known copies. Also known as Tokuten O, Ano no Libero. One buyer reportedly paid $55,000 for both Kazuna Encounter and Ultimate Eleven. Bangai O, Prize Edition 1999, Sega Dreamcast, NTSCJ. Five copies produced. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, All-Star Battle Exquisite Edition 2013, PlayStation 3. 
One available, includes the game, special packaging and a Swarovski figurine made out of 6,000 Swarovski crystals. The game was auctioned at eBay for £687. Panzer Dragoon Saga Sega Saturn, 1998, was released in limited qualities in the West, used copies sell for hundreds of US dollars, and factory sealed copies for over $1,000. Japanese copies are far cheaper, but have no English translation and cannot be played on Western Saturn consoles. Luchien's Quest 3DO, 1995, is the sole Japanese role-playing game released for the 3DO, and has gained recognition as one of the best games for the system. Its limited Western release has led to high demand and prices. Ginga Fuki Densetsu Sapphire PC Engine, 1995, is considered one of the best shoot-em-ups for the PC Engine, and was released in limited quantities exclusively in Japan. Shinrei Jusatsushi Taromaru Sega Saturn, 1997, was the last game released by Time Warner Interactive. Only 7,500 copies were produced. See also. Digital preservation <laughs>